Do you get confused while trying to understand electrical line diagrams? In this video, we will go through the important symbols to help you understand how to read electrical systems. My name is Sahil and in today's video, we will understand what is a single line diagram, the advantages of using a single line diagram and some important symbols used in the diagram of 11 kV and 400 volts indoor substations. So what is a single line diagram? A single line diagram is a type of symbolic or graphical representation of a complex three phase power system. It is a graphical representation of the equipment and the connections. The electrical elements such as circuit breakers, transformers, bus bars and conductors are represented using standardized symbols so that they can be read and understood easily. In this diagram, a three-phase conductor is represented using a single line, rather than representing each phase with separate lines. Hence, it makes it easy to understand an electrical system, particularly in the case of complicated systems like a substation. Before understanding the symbols used, let us quickly look at some of the major advantages of single line diagrams. Firstly, simplicity. These diagrams are simple and easy to understand, making them useful for both technical and non-technical audiences. Compactness. Single line diagrams use a single line to represent three phases. This allows for a more compact representation of a complex power system. Clear representation. These diagrams clearly show the components of the power system and how they are interconnected, making it easier to understand the overall functioning of this system. Ease of modification. They are easy to modify and update as changes are made to the power system. Flexibility. Apart from electrical systems, these diagrams can be used for a wide range of purposes including power flow analysis, fault analysis and load flow studies. This is why they are a very useful tool for understanding and analyzing power systems due to their simplicity, compactness and clarity of representation. Now, let's look at some of the important symbols that will help you understand a single line diagram. Firstly, the isolating switch. In power substations, it is required to disconnect a part of the system for general maintenance and repairs. This is accomplished by an isolator. An isolator is a switch which is designed to open a circuit under no load. For example, if the entire substation is divided into five sections, each section can be disconnected with the help of an isolator for maintenance. Secondly, bus bar. A bus bar is an assembly of bus conductors with associated connection joints and insulating supports. Thirdly, the circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is a circuit component that can open or close a circuit under normal and fault conditions. It is designed such that it can be operated manually under normal conditions and automatically under fault conditions. It is a special type of switching device which can be operated safely under huge current carrying conditions. It is used for timely disconnecting and reconnecting different parts of the power system for protection and control. Number four. Transformers. These are essential components in power transmission and distribution. They are further divided into two types. Number one, the current transformer and number two, the voltage transformers. These transformers are used in stepping up or stepping down the voltage. Power stations most often use a step up transformer to increase the generated voltage to a higher value. At subsequent substations, a step down transformer is used to reduce the supply voltage and then finally deliver at the utilization end. Let's just quickly understand the current transformer. It is a step up or step down transformer that multiplies the current to a known ratio. For example, if a current transformer has a rating of 100 slash 5 ampere, the current on the primary side is 100 amperes and the secondary side is 5 amperes. It is a type of instrument transformer. Another type of instrument transformer is the voltage transformer or potential transformer. A potential transformer is used for protection and measurement purposes. It measures the high alternating voltage in a power system. It is usually a step down transformer with a small number of windings on the secondary side. Now getting back to the symbols, let's look at protection relays. The primary function of protective relays in substations is to quickly remove 
any element from the service when it suffers a short circuit. It also protects when a part of the system starts operating in an abnormal manner which might cause damage or interfere with the operation of the complete system. There are different types of protection relays mainly based on their characteristics, logic, actuating parameters and operation mechanism. So these were some of the important components we see in a single line diagram. Please note, there are many more components used in an electrical system that have various applications. At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing, installing and testing your earthing and lightning protection systems for your substations. Our products have been used in 80 plus countries in substations, data centers, factories and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. Before skipping to any other video, please note that substations are high voltage electrical facilities. They are subjected to faults like internal power falls, switching surges, equipment failures or even direct or indirect lightning strikes. However, earth mats are a common solution for avoiding such problems. Watch our video right here to understand the science of earth mats in a substation.